Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you a really easy way to add forms to your website. This can be a WordPress website or any uh, type of website, um, as long as you're able to add code to your page, right? So, um, and I'm going to be demonstrating this on a WordPress website because this is what um, uh, most people are using and uh, WordPress is a really easy way to create your website. So, um, I'm going to be using WordPress for this example. Uh, and the the reason why I want to do this tutorial, guys, is because in the past, I tried to add forms to my um, websites. And I usually uh, use plugins such as these ones right here. So contact form seven, and there are other like similar plugins. And I, I believe this is what most people are using. Uh, however, what I find is that every time I use these plugins, the, the process of adding a form to the website takes so long and it's it's more complicated than it needs to be, you know, because you uh, usually the interface of these plugins right here um, is not very user friendly. You see, like it's not that good. And um, also it's hard to configure the plugin to work with a like an email provider of your choice. So for example, if you want to take out the information you receive from the form and put it into your email autoresponder or maybe send that information to your inbox, uh, you usually have to find like a different plugin and integrate them together. And it, it's 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 a complicated process, you know, it's more complicated than it needs to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really easy way that I found to um, quickly add forms to your website to collect information, whether that's a contact form or a uh, maybe you're offering a service and you want to collect some information from your prospects. Um, this video is going to be for you. Also, another important um, benefit that I found to using this method compared to using plugins like the, such as these ones. Um, every time I create a form with plugins such as contact form seven, I get so many spam emails in my inbox every single day because many um, people are using like bots that crawl websites and try to find the contact forms and send messages that are basically trying to promote a service or whatever. So it's just spam, you know, um, but um, uh, I mean, what you can do is, of course, add like a recapture or whatever, like a validation method uh, before you allow your users to click the send button. You know, that's one way to fight against the spam. Uh, however, with the method I'm going to show you in this video, I, I realized that um, it, it helps avoid that, you know, it helps solve that problem. And uh, you shouldn't have any problems with spam, with people spamming your your uh, your forms with the method I'm going to show you, right? So I'm really excited to show you guys this and let's get started. So the way we're going to create forms is by using a service called Airtable, you know, so Airtable is basically like um, an online database kind of service, you know, so you're able to create like databases and tables and all sorts of, all, all sorts of cool things, right? So what you want to do is create your Airtable account. It's completely free to use. There are some um, like paid uh, plans, but we don't need them for this uh, tutorial. Then what you want to do is create a workspace, right? So workspace is like a collection of different bases and bases are like um, bases inside inside bases. You basically have different tables. So think of it as Excel. Right. So it's, it's nothing different than a, um, a spreadsheet or a Google sheet or whatever. Right. So let me just go ahead and create a new workspace and I'm going to call this um, my website. And here I'm going to create a new base and I'm going to call this base forms right now in here. I can go ahead and create tables. Right. So in in this example, I'm going to name this table contact us, right? So this is the form that we're going to use for the contact us page, right? So if I go back to my, um, to my WordPress site, I'm going to create a contact us page here, right? So contact us. 
Now, there's two ways of doing this. I'm using Elementor because I really like Elementor. If you know, if you don't know what Elementor is, it's basically a page builder. I have um, a whole tutorial on how to set up and use Elementor. I'm gonna put a few links in the description below if you wanna check out those videos. But um, the idea is that if you have Elementor installed on your on your WordPress website, um, what you can do is is use this um, this block right here. So you just search for code, and you're able to add HTML to your um, to your to your page here, right? So this is how we're gonna add the form to the page. Now, if you don't want to use Elementor, you can also do it um, with the WordPress editor. So when you go here to edit your page, you can simply uh, go to the plus and then search for here you go so code right and you can copy paste your code in there right so um, but for this example I'm just gonna use Elementor because it's easier um, so I go back here HTML and I just want to put my form right there now what I want to do is go back to um, Airtable here and we're gonna create the fields for the form, right? So if this is a contact us form, then we're probably gonna need the user to enter the full name and then their message, which is gonna be long text. Uh, something really cool about Airtable is that it allows you to have so many different types of fields, right? So for the message, we're obviously gonna need like a long text. Uh, and then the final thing we're gonna need is an email so um, search for email there you go email and I'm gonna put the email second here now the next step guys once you have all your fields what you want to do is go here and then create a form view here's my form right so what you want to do is also give it like a a title but in this case because I'm gonna be embedding this on my website I'm actually gonna put some text like um, have any questions feel free to contact us below right so that's gonna be like a you can also add the description or whatever um, you can also add a logo, but I think this is a, like a paid, yeah, it's part of the paid plan. But you don't actually need that because we're going to be embedding this on our website. So our website um, naturally is going to have the logo, right? So you don't need that. And then we can also edit the a message that appears after the user submits the form, right? So um, we can say something like, thank you for contacting us. Uh, we will we will get back to you as soon as possible right and then guys a really cool thing you can do down here is email the response to your to, to the email that you're using for um, for your Airtable account right this is super useful because usually uh, with plugins such as Contact uh, Form 7, whatever it's called, um, and other WordPress plugins, uh, in order to have this functionality of emailing the the form, emailing the the, the form data to your to your inbox, um, you usually you have to either use like another plugin, or you have to pay extra because that's usually like a premium feature you know so um, Airtable has that right here and it's completely free so all the data that we collect from the form is gonna be sent to our email right so that's really useful guys um, and I'm gonna show you that in action in a second so uh, the next step once you have your form ready all you got to do is just go to share and then you scroll down to this option right here, share the view links, right? So you click that and then here's your form. Now, this is the link which would normally take us to the form. So it's gonna be like an Airtable page with the form, but we're not, we don't actually want that. We want to embed the form on the website. So we click on that right here, embed, 
and then we get this page. So as you can see on this page, we have our form. This is what it's going to look like on mobile. Really nice and responsive. Uh, now, what I suggest you guys do is click on this uh, button right here. So auto size height. And what this is going to do, as you can see before, you have to scroll in order to view the whole form, right? However, with this option right here, the whole form appears on the page, right? So, I mean, it's up to you whether you want the, um, the form to be scrollable or whether you want the whole form to appear on the page. I think this is more user friendly if the whole form appears. But anyway, once you choose your option, all you got to do is just copy this code right here and then go back to your website and just paste the code, right? And here you have your form. So the form is now embedded on the website. All I got to do is hit publish here. And now if I preview the website, here's the page and here's a form. I mean, how easy is that, right? And you can completely customize the form whenever you want uh, through your Airtable um, dashboard here. You can add fields, you can take away fields super easily. And then let's do a test here. Um, George uh, K, whatever. Uh, I think that's my email. Yep. This is a test, and then we click on submit. Thank you for contacting us. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Now let's go check our Airtable grid view, right? As you can see, let me just delete these. As you can see, here is the response instantly there. And then guys, let's go to the Gmail. There we go. So we automatically get all the data from the form. Super simple, right? And this is completely free super fast and we don't have to use any plugins so that means that our website is going to be faster right because the more plugins you use on your website the more plugins you install on your website the slower it becomes right so this is a win-win situation and also this is going to avoid spam from what I, I tested at least right S since i have these types of forms on my website the spam has significantly reduced because um the bots are not able to add uh, data to embedded forms. You know, I think that's the reason why this works so well. Uh, the, the bots are not able to uh, add data to the embedded window right here because this is called, I think it's called an iframe um, right here. So it's an iframe and I think the bots are not able to do that. Um, but yeah, guys, feel free to try it out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know below. But other than that, guys, I really hope you found this useful and I will see you on the next video.